Hi guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be revealing the two new eyeshadow palettes that just came out from Rare Beauty. So if you want to hear my thoughts on these palettes as well as see a tutorial on each of the palettes, then just keep watching. <laughs> Hey guys, if you're new here, my name is Morgan. I am a product knowledge enthusiast. I just love knowing anything and everything about all of the new makeup on the market and sharing my thoughts with you guys. So that, of course, is why I had to pick up these eyeshadow palettes. Now, these are the first eye products, really, or eyeshadow products that have come out in the Rare Beauty line. This is definitely the piece of makeup that was missing from the original launch. And I would say, for the most part, the complexion products were pretty good. I liked some more than others, so I was curious to see what the quality of the eyeshadows was going to be like, what direction they were going to go. I will be honest, when I first initially saw these palettes, I was not interested at all. If I didn't have a YouTube channel, I definitely would not have purchased them. The color stories I thought didn't look that good. I didn't think they looked very luxurious. I don't know. They just didn't appeal to me upon initially looking. I think after people started getting them and I saw some looks, I started to get a little bit more excited about these. But yeah, at first I was not excited about these at all. And I think if this hadn't have been Rare's first eyeshadow, eyeshadow product that I probably would have passed on this, but I did want to know how they were going to be and share that with you guys. Let's get into the facts of these. So these are going to be $25, which I think is a pretty great deal for six shades for a high-end brand, especially looking at her other prices, which are not very pricey or anything, but I still think $25 is a very good deal for what you're getting. I would have thought these would have been in like the 30 mid $30 range, so I was happy to see the price point on that. So these are a limited edition eyeshadow palette featuring six ultra creamy blendable one swipe shades in rich jewel tones so these I imagine are just limited edition for the holidays so let's get into the packaging of these now these are a plastic component but they feel pretty sturdy for being plastic it doesn't feel cheap at all and the packaging itself is really gorgeous you have this gorgeous cut gemstone kind of design on here it's hard to see but this is a multi-dimensional design and you have the color names on the back. Now the box itself is also very very nice. I will say I don't see the lifespan date on it or whatever it's called but you know there's usually something indicating how good the product is going to be for after you open it can't find it on the box can't find it on here these are vegan and cruelty free and something interesting they are made in china this is the first item from her line that i've tried that was produced in china and i think that does reflect the price because typically i'm not going to go into the details but it's just less expensive typically to make makeup in china so i think that's why these are pretty affordable. So let's get into the eyeshadow palettes already. So there are two. The first one that we have here is called Magnetic Spirit. And I know all of you guys thought I would love this one because this one is the more purpley one. So you have some peach shades in here and then some different tones of purple. I feel like you have more cooler purples and a little bit more of warm colors over here. You have this gorgeous taupe color that I really love. And I don't know, for some reason, the color story wasn't screaming to me. I know it is purple, but I really didn't like the corresponding colors that they had with the purples. I don't know, this wasn't a color story that I was that interested in for whatever reason. Now, Confident Energy. Okay, this is the bluer green one. I am in love with this color story. It really inspires me. I see so many different looks that I can create. So surprisingly, I prefer this color story. Now, when I saw it online, I was like, ugh. Oh my gosh, I would never use that. But now that it's like actually in my hands, I look at it and I feel so incredibly inspired. Obviously, you can see this is the look that I created with this one. So as far as how these swatched, how they felt, I have to say these definitely apply better than they swatch. When I swatched these, I was like, ah, I'm gonna have to give this a subpar review. They don't feel very great. They don't have a very creamy texture to them upon feeling. When I say creamy, I'm comparing that to brands like Charlotte Tilbury, Pat McGrath, Natasha Denona. These definitely aren't up to those caliber, let's be honest here, but for $25, I don't think that they should be. But I was a little bit worried upon swatch. They did feel a bit dry to me. They weren't swatching with the opacity and coverage that other formulas I've dealt with have swatched with, so I got worried. Again, like I said, you'll see in the tutorials, they definitely surprised me with their application. They apply much okay, better. So at this point, the lipstick on my teeth starts to grow more and more noticeable. Let's just ignore that. I was not about to refilm it because of that. So uh, yeah, a girl has lipstick on her teeth. 
it happens. So let's take a closer look into Magnetic Spirit here. So in here you are getting a lid toppery kind of shade out here in, at the end. Now again I swatched this I was like ugh it's actually quite pretty when applied to the eye. You have more of a warm tone purple, a cooler tone deep purple, a champagne color, a light peach, and then this really cool khaki bronze shade which is really stunning but I do find this color to be a bit mismatched in this palette. I would have liked to have seen another tone of purple or something just to make this palette a little bit more cohesive. Of course this color does go with these other two colors but I would have really had loved them to stick with a true color story here and I feel like this one was kind of just thrown in there. That being said it's actually one of the most gorgeous shades in the palette and it also does allow for a couple other different directions with looks but personally I love a good cohesive color story but yeah this is the only really unique texture the rest of these are shimmers now as far as application with these and this goes with this palette as well one thing that surprised me about the way that these applied is that I got zero fallout sometimes with shimmers they just don't apply as well with brushes especially with blending brushes you'll find that the powder gets everywhere it falls all over your face what makes this shadow formula really great is that they don't have fallout when you blend them maybe just a little bit the fact that they don't have fallout makes it very easy to work with an all shimmer palette all over your eyes. A lot of times with shimmer palettes you might want to go into some matte shadows because not only does it really complete a look to have those different dimensions in there but mattes are easier to work with and blend out with a blending brush as opposed to shimmers. Shimmers usually just aren't good in that regard. What's good about the fact that these are a drier formula is that you are able to actually use brushes and blend with them to really create and fade and blend and mix the shadows. So I wasn't sure at first how I would feel about whether or not you would need a matte with these palettes. I do think having mattes would definitely expand the looks that you are able to get and really just add something special to the looks, but it is possible to use these palettes without mattes. But I don't think, you know, like Charlotte Tilbury, I never felt the need to really grab a matte. The formula is just so good. With these, I do feel like I would like mattes to pair with these. So let's take a look at my tutorial with magnetic spirit so you can get a feel of what I'm saying. So for this eye we are going to use magnetic spirit. I'm gonna start off with the peachy shade and we're gonna use that as our transition color. You guys know I love playing against the idea that you can't use shimmers in the crease. I always like showing you guys the best way to do it. Though I will admit this does seem to have a little bit more of a metallic finish, which can look a little bit unflattering against textured eyelids. So this does have a little bit more metallic than some shimmers. We're gonna build with this shade right here in the crease. Now I never know what direction the colors are named on the back, so that's why I never say them. Sometimes when I'm positive I have the right name, it's wrong. So it's just better off if I don't make that mistake. But anyways, this is going very nicely in the crease, quite pigmented. I do think though that this probably would be a palette that you might want to pull into other palettes for the matte look to really get a complete look because these are a little bit shiny for my preferences. I'm gonna take the deepest shade right here. I'm taking this on a refer 14 brush and I'm applying this to the lower lash line. I'll probably go back in with the peach shade just to really round out the look. That applied pretty nicely. I'm also going to take that in the outer corner as well and blend it into the outer half of the eyelid and I'm actually pretty impressed with how this is working with this brush and also the one thing that's really shocking me about this formula overall zero fallout a lot of times when you'll mix shimmers in the crease with fluffy brushes they'll end up all over your face and the follow is just horrific I'm very impressed with how these don't have any fallout almost maybe just a touch but still that's cool white incredible. Next we're gonna take some of the bronze shade. I mean this really isn't necessarily bronze but it's a really gorgeous smoky neutral color and I'm putting that right in the center just to see how this color looks. Which by the way this is a stunning color. The looks coming out a little bit more muddy than I was hoping that it would but that's okay we'll make it work I promise. So I'm going in with that light shade and I'm going to apply this to the inner half below the brow. This is really gorgeous and pigmented. For experimental purposes, I'm taking some of this duochrome shade. 
and I'm gonna put this on the lower lash line and I do think that these are shadows that apply better than they swatched because when I swatched these was not a big fan but they definitely are better so I'm gonna do liner and lashes and I'll show you the final so look with liner and lashes here's the final look liner and lashes definitely helped and I think this palette can definitely create beautiful looks though I would not recommend using all six on the eye at the same time though of course normally you wouldn't do that I just did that for review purposes but the look turned out very pretty obviously I was pretty impressed with how these applied I also love how great these apply with brushes in general a lot of times with shimmers they really just apply only well with fingers and I think all of these shades worked really great with brushes they picked up on the brushes they definitely just applied so much better than when I swatched them the only thing that I kind of didn't like about this is that when I tried to use all six shades on my eye I felt like the look turned out a little bit muddy I just feel like it wasn't the best mixture of colors but again, that also allows you to create different kind of looks. So let's take a closer look at Confident Energy. Now, Confident Energy is this really fun blue-green one. This one, even though I know the colors are a lot more different, I do feel like has a little bit more of a cohesive color story. I just like this color story better. I like the colors better as well. This one, you don't have any of those lid toppery kind of shades. The one in Magnetic Spirit was nice. I don't think it was like super special, so I'm not mad about this palette not having that. I think you're really just getting getting a nice array of some metallic shimmers here. They're really pretty. They work very well together and I see so many different looks. Like you can create a bronze look with this gold over here. Of course, you can get blue and green with There's just so many directions that I feel like you can go with this palette and I really do like this one a lot more than I thought I would. Let's take a closer look into the tutorial that I created. It's really fun and then I'll be back to give you guys my final thoughts. We're gonna dig into Confident Energy. I'm feeling so inspired by this one. I'm gonna start off with this peach shade once again this is more of a pinky peach compared to the other palette I'm gonna do a very very light wash of this we're gonna do a little bit of a gradient here so I'm gonna start off with this sh golden shade this is a Wayne Goss number seven brush and I'm applying this just to the inner not even quite third almost the inner fourth of the eyelid and almost applying it a little bit diagonal so I'm going in with the gold more upwards here wipe off your brush we're moving into to the green shade right here and again I'm still working on this diagonal that's super pretty and then I think you probably know where I'm going we have to have to have to take this blue shade and again working from the diagonal <gasps> wow this palette's really impressing me gorgeous take a very small brush and we're gonna work on blending these in and blending the edges as well bring the blue along the lash line to really complete the look next we're gonna take the shade right here this is going to be the inner corner color this has like a very greeny goldy kind of duochrome to it so just be prepared for that the only shade I have left is this bronze shade but honestly you guys I love this look so much I don't even want to use it so I'm just gonna go ahead blue blue, green, gold really quickly. All right, I'm gonna do liner and lashes and I'll be back to show you the final look. So here's the final look. Obviously, I'm obsessed with this look. I think it is so stunning. Really excited about this palette. All right, you guys, so that is all I have as far as demos and all of that. So I'm here to round out my final thoughts. I was very pleasantly surprised by these. If I'm being honest, I wasn't too sure when I swatched them. When I saw them online, I was like, I don't know if these are gonna be good or not. Definitely had my opinions before I tried them, but as soon as I put them on my eyes, I'm very very impressed with this formula. I feel like they just work so easily on the eyes. These make shimmers a little bit more approachable as far as putting them in the crease. All of these shades are great on their own as well for that one wash of color kind of look. So don't feel pressure to use every single shade on your eye because I think every single shade in both of these palettes are gonna look beautiful on their own as just a wash. So I think that these palettes are versatile. They're gonna work well with other palettes. They're gonna work 
work well by themselves. The quality impressed me and overall I think these are definitely worth looking into. I have to say this because I am a majority luxury high-end channel. No, these are not luxury eyeshadows. However, $25 for the quality that you are getting I think is definitely acceptable. You're getting nice shadows to work so with. that is all I have for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you aren't subscribed to my channel already, I would absolutely love it if you would consider taking the time to do so and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys, have a good one.